Okay, we're here today with Mark and Jackie, and uh, we're at Lake Rotorua in Hamilton. Mark's uh, doing a study for fish and game. Tell us about that, Mark. Okay, what we're planning to do is to tag 50 tench over the next three to four months. The aim being to establish their distribution around the lake, the growth rates, and eventually the actual size of fish, the potential for the fishery. So far, our biggest fish is over six pound. We've established that there are three probable generations of tench in here. It's a fish that lives for 14 odd years and a high percentage of those have been females. Now the fish have just finished spawning. The ones I caught several weeks ago were all post-spawn fish, um, going back to September, October when they were pre-spawners. So they're in excellent condition, so they should be on the feed now. Course fishing is fairly new to New Zealand, so Mark's going to show us a few of the basics before we get started. We're fishing in about three to four feet of water. This sort of cage feeder is the one we're using. Help them cast. They have a lead strip on the base. The idea being that that, together with the weight of the actual ground bait inside of it, is your casting weight. Sometimes to start the session, they'll load up a big feeder and cast it three or four times. That's just simply to get some bait out there. At the start of the session, we'll probably change the bait and the feeder every five minutes, so you're building up your bed. After that, you'll leave it for 10, 15 minutes and change it each time. To stop the food coming out the base, when you feed it, you're actually putting your fingers on the bottom like that and you're putting your feed in using your thumb to compact it so you end up with a compacted plug of feed at the bottom put your corn in and then repeat it at the other end so again you're compressing the ground bait within the feeder itself and that holds it within the feeder until it hits the water then the water hits it and it slowly ejects as it and falls it's to the bottom a burly it's, it's simply a burly cage okay, the mix I've got here is a ground bait mix of various breadcrumbs and other additives that are put into it to give it um, flavour, what you're trying to do is to send out a scent trail, which the tench will hopefully come and put their nose into, see what's there, find on the bottom the free offerings of corn, and in amongst those will be our combination corn and worm bait. I've got a compost worm and a compost bin at home, and I'm using, to keep them on a barbless hook, I'm using a piece of sweet corn, which has actually been flavoured with a strawberry flavouring, as a bait stop. One of the important things you're trying to do is to always get your bait within the same area of a couple of metres because you're trying to create a bit of ground bait on the bottom for the fish to move into and sit on. The ground bait used to attract the target species is a combination of texture, colour, scents and flavours. You can make your own or you can import a variety of product from the UK. This is your ground bait. This one's particularly designed for tench. They like the colour red, and this has got some sweet additives added to. A bread base, bread crumb base. So you mix that with, all starts off as a dry mix, with more of a traditional bread mix. You can add others. This is a seaweed one with hemp in it. It's a lot coarser and heavier. Um, explosive formula because the hemp will actually burst out of the end of the feeder. Something interesting? It's a pineapple flavoured bait. And that's designed to actually sit on the bottom and the tench will suck that in. As you put a hole through it? You, you drill a hole through it, yeah, you actually drill a hole through that to mount it on what's called a hair rig. And you've got additives and flavourings which you can mix into your ground bait. There's a whole range of these. I particularly like these because they are sweet flavouring, you get pineapple and strawberry flavourings. Whether it makes a difference I don't know, but when you're sitting through long sessions it's good to know that you've got that sort of thing out there. Course fishing is a great way to spend an afternoon, and the native wildlife are particularly interested in the conversation, especially when it turns to cats. You're not like, liking the cats? No, I don't like the catfish. No. They are your problem fish in this lake. The problem no, fish. using the disgorging now to get the hook out. If, if we're fishing in here, what other types of species are we going to come across? Okay, you'll come across rudd, which have been here since the early 90s as well. Perch, which feed on the rudd. Um, they're great fun for the kids with their spinning gear. But I have heard of them up to five pound being caught in the middle of the lake with people using soft plastics. Also, you're probably more problem fish. You'll get your catfish in here. And a small number of eels, which have been here 
for well, decades, centuries. Tench have always been a sports fish, which requires a freshwater license to fish for, and they're regulated by Fish and Game, controlled by Fish and Game, with specific regulations in terms of how you can fish for them. Yeah, man, as well. Yeah. 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 That's a rod. It's pretty much the average size. Very pretty fish. They are a lot bigger in here. We're targeting tench, but the other species present in these waters offer a smorgasbord of fun and fishing action for every fisherman in the family. Put them in the keep net. Well, what we've got is a keep net. Now it's a basically it's a net with a cage, and it will keep its shape. And the fish will just lie passively in that until they're removed. They're used mainly for um, match fishing, and so at the end of the day the fish will be weighed as a complete weight depending upon how many you catch and um, that can be your winning weight. For this purpose it's simply so we can keep them alive in there to have them removed at the end and then they'll be tagged, measured, sexed, so I have to record that as well before they're released. Girls and fish. <laughs> Don't catch the bigger ones. That's better.